Alright, we're here. It's finally time for the match card of Fastlane. Um, we already have the scheduled pre show ready to go. The winner of the winner of the Triple Thread Tag Team Match will be facing on into the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match for the Mayhem Tag Team Championship. So, we're going to get things started after. Now, for the first match, it's going to be after on Octane's shocking victory against Moto, Vince Mineo was basically going to, was going to be the next person to challenge for the King of the Wolves Championship. But since Moto gets his rematch clause, we're going to get triple threats. It's going to be Vincent Mineo versus Moto versus the current King of the Wolves champion, Octane, for the King of the Wolves championship. And that is going to be the opening match. Quite frankly, I think that's pretty good. Let's move on to the next match. And then the next match, we have Chloe Cross defending her tag team. Her, not her tag team, I'm so sorry. Chloe will be defending her women's championship against her best friend Haley because well she did promise her and then there was a little there was a little scuffle between them two so hopefully that scuffle doesn't end on a bad note with this title match and next we have the tag team match the Eternal Fortune versus the Yardy Boys. They didn't state that the title is going to be on the line, but I'm pretty sure if they beat Eternal Fortune, for sure, for sure, they are going to be guaranteed a title shot at Wolf Mania 5. So I'm excited for that to happen. Next thing we have, of course, we have Liv facing KC, uh, not KC, Courtney Charmer for the final chapter in the books, so when she, when she is ready, she will be facing the winner of the WWE Women's Championship match at Earth Mania 5. Let's see how that goes. And speaking of the WWE Women's Championship, we have Kari Garcia defending her Women's Championship against Jutenshi. Now, from what we know, Jutenshi has made an appearance at the Royal Rumble, and now she's here taking names and she defeated Kari Garcia like it was nothing. So with that said, Jutenshi is automatically the number one contender and will be facing Kari Garcia at Fastlane for the WDW Women's Championship. I'm excited to see how that goes. Let me know in the comments to see who wins. And of course, the match that I'm personally excited for, Damien Olympian goes one-on-one -on -one with Jay Mullen for the Open Weight Championship. Now, Damon Olympian has been very good. Of course, he has one loss under his belt, but that didn't stop him. He has been continuing getting dubs, and now he has finally been able to become the number one contender of a title, and that is for the Openweight Championship. Will Jay Mullen be able to stand up to him, or will Damon Olympian conquer and get his first title around his waist in his career? And of course, now we're heading up into the main event territory. Relic will be going one-on-one -on -one against Cronus for the WDW Mayhem Championship. Now, this has been a long time coming. Because either way, whoever wins, Cyrus will be facing them at Wolf Mania 5. I have a personal feeling that Cronus is going to get this done. But, this is Relic. I've known him for years. Anything can happen. Let me know in the comments think who you think is going to win the championship. And of course, the main event. The main event of all main events for Fastlane. It is a career versus career match. Winner gets the gold. Loser leaves. Infamous has been a very questionable mid-champion as of late ever since he got lucky by winning at the Elimination Chamber. Jinx has been furious and has has actually threatened Mr. Davis, which is why he has not been saying anything for the past couple weeks for a championship match. And now that Jesus finally have, has it, it's going to be him versus Infamous. Both careers on the line. The WKW title holds up in the balance. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win this match. 
This is a spectacular card. I'm excited to see how this goes. This Wolf Kings and the Wolf Kings channel catchy and fast. Pay-per-view is going to be insane.